Hey ladies and germs, you got Brad here checking out Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts for the Xbox 360. This is the uh, third game in the Banjo series and the first one on the 360. Uh, I've actually never been a huge fan of the Banjo series before, but that's okay because this is totally not your typical kind of Mario 64 style Banjo platformer game at all. Uh, it actually focuses way more on vehicle action as you can see here. Uh, you can hop off and run around, uh, but the game actually amusingly enough will sort of chastise you for for doing any platforming you don't really have a double jump or anything like that it's it really focuses heavily on on driving uh, and using the different vehicles you can create uh, now I'm in showdown town right now which is actually the kind of the hub world it's where all the other action levels spiral off of there's also as you can see tons of characters around here you know shops uh, there's some kind of side quest givers here uh, there's a lot of kind of side minor activities you can do but the the bulk of the missions are in the, the action levels which, which spawn from here. Uh, before I head to one of those, I will show you just kind of some of the basic controls here. Uh, here's Banjo on foot. You've got a magic wrench that you can use to, uh, to actually pick up and sort of levitate objects and just about anything can be picked up. Uh, if you have a vehicle with cargo capacity like your, your kind of basic trolley or cart thing here, uh, you can drop items in it and drive it around. Uh, this pink box I just picked up is actually a box of parts. Uh, which I will take over to Mumbo's workshop here. Uh, that's vehicle parts. Um, you're going to find these throughout the game. I think you also get some parts for finishing missions and you know some of them are hidden in different places. Uh, drop it right there and I think speak to Mumbo here and I should have a few new parts maybe? What are you giving me? Oh yeah look at that that's a crap load of parts. Thanks dude. Um, so I'm going to head into the workshop here uh, this is where you get to make your vehicles. Um, you can physically go to this workshop in Showdown Town to go in there, but the game is actually uh, like part of the sort of the design philosophy of this game. From what I can tell, seems to be don't restrict your access to having fun at all. Uh, you've got pretty much unfettered access to uh, to all of the functionality of the game. Like I can just pop up a menu at any time and just hit workshop and go straight in here, no matter what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm here in the workshop. I'm going to pull up a blueprint. Uh, you start with just a handful of blueprints. You can see here I've got a racer, a taxi, uh, there's this truck, it's got big cargo capacity, there's a, a basic copter. Um, I'm going to back up to one of my saved blueprints, which is the Humber Racer. Uh, this is a, basically a, a basic design that I pulled from the included blueprints and then just sort of modified very, very lightly. I stuck some heavy engines, or rather medium engines on the back so it's a little faster. Uh, but then I also put some higher grip tires on there so I get uh, kind of better traction when I turn, but then that reduced my speed a little bit. Uh, what else did I do here? I stuck Fulgore's fist, it's this kind of hand thing on the front, which is basically sort of a vehicle melee weapon whenever I run into somebody. Uh, and then there's an egg cannon on the front that shoots eggs and then I actually had to also put an ammo container on the vehicle to give me some eggs to shoot. Uh, now let's see what all I have here to modify this thing with. Here's a bunch of little body elements that I've gained. Uh, that looks a little complicated for now. I'm going to go over to the protection tab. Okay, I've got a bumper here. Uh, where can I put that bumper? Well, I'd like to stick it on the back here, but I don't think that's going to happen for some strange reason. Uh, okay, yeah, no bumper for me. But uh, what I will do is go to Fly and Float, and I see I have got some wings and some propellers that I've picked up. I don't want to rotate that. I want to move it right about here. Oh, right there. Okay, so... See, I've very easily uh, added a couple of wings to my design here. Uh, I need some propulsion, obviously, so I will grab these two propellers I got. Now let's see where could I put these propellers. Uh, I don't want to remove my weapons here, but I may have to. I don't really see much other option for where I can stick those things. Let's see if I can add a little more body to this thing. Okay, I've got these cubes here. Let's see if... If I stick a cube, whoop. Okay, put that right there. Uh, okay, let's try that. Stick that cube there. 
stick another one on the other side. Okay, that gives me some more surface area. Uh, and now I will put a propeller on. Or actually two, because two is always better than one, right? Okay, there's one, there's another one. Uh, now, if my precise calculations are correct, this thing might actually fly. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Going to save this thing. I'm going to save it as a new blueprint since I've modified this thing pretty heavily. Uh, I'll just call it Humber Racer 2 for now. Uh, all of these get saved to your profile or to your save game, and then, of course, as you would hope, you can send these blueprints to other, other friends on your friends list, trade them, that kind of thing. Uh, now I'm going back into Showdown Town. Uh, I've made my new vehicle. But you may be surprised to find that you can't actually use it here. Uh, you can only use this little sort of exploration focus uh, trolley cart here in Showdown Town. You actually have to go into these, whoa, into these action levels, such as Nutty Acres here that I'm going into, uh, to actually use these vehicles. Uh, now, now the action levels are pretty much open world style, kind of GTA. Uh, there's quest givers or mission givers all over the place. You just go up and talk to them and they tell you what to do. Uh, here I am in Nutty Acres. This thing is not meant for water, so that's not a good thing. Uh, so like I was saying, you know, you can, you can pop up the workshop at any time from the menu. You can also just pick any vehicle you've ever made and just give it to yourself. We'll just like, bam, hit a button, and here's my new thing. Uh, they really seem to not want you to have to work to do anything, so I can, oop, I can totally wreck my vehicle whenever I want, apparently. This is <laughs> not a great design, apparently, but let's see if I can get some lift, and here we go. Now I'm flying. Uh, I think the game makes it really intuitive, like you saw there, to kind of look at the parts that you have, and uh, everything seems to behave uh, according to a pretty rudimentary but, but sensible physics model. So it's pretty intuitive to, like, say, all right, I can put two propellers and two wings on this thing, and it should fly, and... Presto, it apparently did. Uh, so I'm flying around here. Uh, I am going to seek out one of the quest givers here and find something to do. Um, now you, you can collect notes in the game, which are sort of like Mario's coins. They're kind of a basic currency. You can buy stuff with those. But the, the jiggies, the jigsaw pieces, are kind of the equivalent of stars. Those are what you're actually going to use to unlock new areas and gain other, other fun stuff. Uh, I'm not actually seeing where this quest guy is, so please, please to be enjoying this panoramic view of Nutty Acres. Uh, let's see if I can just bail out right up here. Whoop! Oh, that was poor. Uh, but hey, here he is. Let's see what he has to say. There's no voice acting that I've seen in the game so far, which is actually a little disappointing because the game is absolutely hilarious so far. Uh, it's got like a very dry, I guess, British kind of sense of humor. Uh, it's really self-deprecating. It's really referential. Uh, it pokes a lot of fun at itself, at the Banjo series, and other rare games, other games in general, the game design process. It's just, it's kind of like a clearinghouse of dry, witty, clever game humor. Um, and while I'm telling you about this, I'm not at all paying attention to what I have to be doing here. But we will find out at the mission summary in just a moment. What am I doing here? Stop talking and... Okay. Mr. Fit is being attacked on his morning jog. He needs protection. Either defend Mr. Fit or attack the grunt bots. The choice is yours. Why not try both? I'm going to pick a vehicle. So this is where the game pretty much encourages you to experiment with vehicles. Uh, I understand that you can, you can get through the first few missions, probably most of Nutty Acres at least, which is the first area, pretty easily with the stock blueprints that the game comes with. Uh, but Rare really wanted to emphasize the, the vehicle creation aspect as a primary part of the game, so you, according to the design director at least, you're going to have to dig into the, uh, uh, the creation aspects later on to, to make vehicles that are up to the task of actually even completing some of these. And then there are different levels of completion where you get better uh, better items out of out of victory, so you'll want to, to make excellent vehicles just to increase your performance and also in some cases find some some really uh, interesting angles to approach uh, to approach a mission from. 
Uh, so I'm in the racer here that I modified earlier that I stuck the wings on. I don't want to be flying right now. Because the enemies I'm fighting are going to be ground-based. So let's uh, follow Mr. Fit here. Uh, and there's some grunt bots. Those are kind of the, a lot of the primary enemies that you see in the game. Uh, and I'm going to use my egg cannon and hopefully my full gore's fist. Oh, took that guy out. Uh. Whoa! I don't have a great read yet on exactly how long the game is. Uh, this is, as I said, the first of several areas that I've encountered. Uh, they all look pretty different. They've got a lot of different stuff going on. Uh, all open world, so like I can, I finished, uh, actually probably only finished maybe four missions in Nutty Acres before I was able to, oops, sorry Mr. Fit, before I was able to open up the next world, so it's pretty free form. Uh, you can kind of go where you want, do what you will, as long as you have enough jiggies to unlock a new area, you can always go find something else to do. Uh, Mr. Fit is having a fitful time here. Sorry, pal. Uh, Probably going to take longer to finish this mission than I really want, so uh, I think that gives you a pretty good taste of uh, sort of the vehicle creation and uh, how those apply to the missions you're going to be taking on. The missions have pretty varied objectives from what I've seen. Some of them are more about ferry and cargo back and forth. Some of them are simple races with checkpoints. This one's kind of a weird hybrid, kind of an escort mission with some combat. Uh, but I'm totally going to abandon my duty here and just... Uh, frolic a little bit uh, and sign off so uh, look for more on Banjo-Kazooie pretty soon and it'll be out in November sometime. Bye!